Principle number three, which is a very uh, important principle, all the principles are, all these three keys are very important, but learn the blessing behind sharing your faith with others. You not only witness life change, but God will favor you like never before. There's something about sharing your faith with others. Uh, if you really, really know me, uh, I'm a man of God that I desire to see people's lives touched by the gospel of Jesus Christ. And whenever you see a man or a woman of God or, or anyone that have so much passion and uh, compassion to see lives touched and changed uh, by the gospel of Jesus Christ, not come to my church, but come to Jesus first, meet him first, then come and get taught, you know, those are people that God has really touched their lives. Um, you know, we got people, we got Christians, they're talking about everything else. They're yapping about everything else. But bottom line, are you sharing your faith with others? Are you telling others about Jesus? You know, the Bible tells us in Proverbs 11 and uh, 30, he that wins souls is wise. If you really want God to move upon your life, if you really want God to bless you, be a soul winner. A soul winner is basically an individual that's telling people and sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ, sharing your faith, telling people about Jesus Christ. So don't forget, I hope these three keys was a blessing to you. Uh, uh, key number one, uh, live a lifestyle of praying, spending time with God each and every day. Uh, key number two, uh, spend time, uh, a season of fasting. You know, go on a fast, a one day, a two day, or three day. You can inbox me if you want to know any more details about fasting. Uh, I have books that I recommend. I have tons of books that I recommend you uh, to um, get during this season where you're fasting and praying. Uh, key number three, uh, sharing your faith. You know, it's very important that we share our faith to, to a lost world. And remember, you know, I'm, I'm Huey Harris. I love you, but God love you more. Uh, if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, now is the time. You can give him your life right now. You can repent of all your sins. You can just ask Jesus to come into your heart. He would do that. You know, I'm a living witness. You know, I've been through hell and high water. But, you know, when God touched me and, and changed my life, you know, I haven't been the same uh, since. I'm not perfect, but I'm a genuine person, meaning I love God first with all my heart. You know, I bumped my head. I've made mistakes. I've fallen down. The Bible says just man falls seven times, but he rises up again. So I want to tell somebody that have fallen into any kind of sin, rise up again. But if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, just repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Just say what I say. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I repent of all my sins right now. Give me the strength. Give me the courage to move forward, to move past my past, and let my future become your future. Renew my mind. I believe that you died on the cross, you rose again the third day, that I can have eternal life and spend life with you. I thank you for saving me this day. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Remember, if you prayed that prayer, you're saved now. God have written your name in the Lamb's book of life. So the heavens are rejoicing. If there was one of you that prayed that prayer, the angels right now is dancing around the very throne of God. Hey, I'm Huey Harris. Until I see you next time, remember, God bless you. Take care. Um